Hey there, in this brief video I'm going to introduce you to the depth first search algorithm. The depth first search algorithm was originally invented as a strategy for solving mazes in the 17th century by a French mathematician. The algorithm is used for traversing or searching tree or graph data structures. The algorithm begins with some arbitrary vertex and will explore as far as it can down a particular branch before backtracking. The efficiency of this algorithm is big O of V plus E, or to be more specific, the sum of the number of vertices and the number of edges. It is a linear algorithm. The backtracking action of this algorithm is supported by a last in, first out stack data structure. Vertices which have been visited during the traversal of the algorithm are going to be noted by marking them. So let's take a look at the algorithm. The algorithm can be divided into two general parts. The first part you could say is an initialization step where all of the marks are cleared and then the starting vertex is pushed onto the stack. After the initial part of the algorithm is completed, the second general part is a loop. And the body of the loop will repeat so long as the stack is not empty. So while the stack is not empty, the loop begins by popping a vertex from the stack and then marking it and then pushing all adjacent unmarked vertices onto the stack. It is this marking of vertices which ensures the algorithm does not end up in an infinite loop. Okay, let's walk through a brief example. In this example, we will have a tree-like graph with vertices A through H. We will indicate that the vertices have been marked with an orange color. Unmarked vertices will be white. To the right, you'll notice a blue shaded region which represents our stack. That is where we will keep track of the vertices that have been pushed and popped uh, to and from the stack. Let's begin. First thing we have to do, clear all the marks. Next thing we have to do is push the starting vertex, in this case A, onto the stack. That concludes the setup of the algorithm, the initialization part. Now, the loop is going to begin, the while loop. While the stack is not empty, begin an iteration. So we're going to begin that iteration by popping off vertex and marking it. Next, we'll push all adjacent unmarked vertices onto the stack. In this case, it'll be vertex D, C, and B. That ends the first iteration of the while loop. Since the stack is not empty, we're going to have another iteration. That next iteration will begin by popping B off of the stack and marking it. Next, we'll push all adjacent unmarked vertices onto the stack. In this case, it will be vertex F and vertex E. That ends this iteration of the loop. Since the stack is not empty, we're going to have another iteration. Next iteration begins by popping E off of the stack 
marking it, and then we're going to push all adjacent unmarked vertices onto the stack. There are none. Thus ends this iteration. Since the stack is done empty, we'll have another iteration. That iteration begins by popping F off of the stack and marking it. Next, we'll push all adjacent unmarked vertices onto the stack. There are none. Since the stack is not empty, we will have another repetition. The next repetition begins by popping C off of the stack and marking it. Next, we'll push all adjacent unmarked vertices onto the stack. There are none. Since the stack is not empty, we will have another iteration. That iteration will begin by popping D off of the stack and marking it. Next, we push all adjacent unmarked vertices onto the stack. This includes H and G. Since the stack is not empty, we will have another iteration. The next iteration begins by popping G off the stack and marking it. Next in this iteration, we'll push all adjacent unmarked vertices onto the stack. There are none. The iteration comes to an end, and since the stack is not empty, we'll have another iteration. The next iteration begins by popping H off the stack and marking it. Next, we'll push all adjacent unmarked vertices onto the stack. There are none. Now since the stack is empty, we will not have another iteration, and so the algorithm has completed executing. Okay, so that brings this video to a close. To summarize, we talked about what the depth first search algorithm is for. We talked about its efficiency. We talked about the fact that it uses a last in first out stack data structure and that it is a backtracking algorithm. If you found this video helpful, please consider clicking that like button and uh, subscribing to the channel. It really helps with the channel and getting this content in front of other people who might also find this useful. If you're a student of mine, as always, please feel free to shoot me an email if you have any questions or stop by my office hours. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.